Yo, this one goes out to one of the most versatile players in FIFA. Nobody likes you cause you are a His name is David Dalla, but he one of the best. If you want to play that doesn't cause your got brain to be stressed, then pick him up. 300k, that's cheap as fuck. But if you got a pastry laying around, keep an eye on it. Cause he's Austrian, and he loves a little pastry. When he shares a pastry with Sway, they call him Zwaystries. So you want to buy packs, but you got no coins. And you want to pack bail, but you hate FIFA points. And you want to beat your brother with a super fly team, but your coin total zero, so it's basically a dream. You FIFA is the answer to your question. Cheap and reliable, the best on the net here. CWB for 8% off. Stack them coins and load your squad up. What's up, big boys, and welcome to Team of the Group Stage Alaba, aka Byron's Secret Weapon Episode. In this episode, in this episode, in this episode, in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at team of the group stage. David Alaba got him for 319,000 coins. Center back, not a left back. Which is fucking awesome. This isn't a cunt mug, but we can easily make this a cunt mug. You are a cunt. Hello? About? Wow. I'm gonna get back to this. But anyway, boys, like I was saying, in FIFA 15. I tried him out at striker, so this is what we're gonna do. We've inserted him into this Bundesliga squad. We've got Ribs right there. We had him on loan. Figured, you know, seven games left. Why not try Ribs out? He's back with Bayern. We've got the Ribery replacement in Costa. People haven't even noticed that Ribery's gone just because Costa's been so fucking amazing. We've got striker Charlie up front, absolute beast, and we've got one of the best players in the Bundesliga right now. Chicharito, absolute god. Boateng, love him at uh, midfielder. Uh, and then we've got Berent Leno. I just love rolling with this side. I have Boateng and I have uh, and I have Matt Simmels, but I prefer to roll with these guys. They're really, really solid. Really like to mix it up and do something different. That's why I do these experimental episodes where, like, you know, center back Alaba is not playing at center back. I've got him at midfield on 5 chem. If I put him up at striker, he'd only be on 2 chem. So we're going to see how he performs at this position. And if not, we'll move him up at striker at halftime. Alan Pardew caught his flight from Mexico to Germany. He's now enjoying an Uber Rasho guy, possibly having a little penguin toy in the middle of it. 442 formation. If you guys do enjoy the episode, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try and blast 50 likes. If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. And there was one more thing I was going to say. Cunt, cunt, what was I going to say? We've got Costin Ribery as well. It's like pairing me up. Like Naldo's in the same position. Does it do that? Where it like pairs you up? With similar. Also, I got Alaba on stay forward, so hopefully he gets forward enough for us to take some chances. Has some ridiculous stats. Only eight stats are not green. That's crazy, and some of them are pretty insignificant. Dude, this defense is shutting shit down right now, bros. They are shutting it down. Trust me, daddy. This has been one of the most defensive-minded games that I've played in some time. Like, just no chances being created on offense. Four shots on target between a 60% possession. I feel like a goal's coming early on in the second half. Los kids. Nobody likes you cause you are a cunt. They need to release this fucking patch so badly. I didn't even... What the fuck? Like, I didn't even initiate anything. That shouldn't have happened. Carlitos, you better go right. You better go right, bro. That shouldn't count. Fuck. We're all in this together. Once we know that we are, we're all stars and we see that. What the f Wait, what actually is happening in FIFA right now? 80th minute. Come on, boys. We got to step it up. Okay, how is that not a pen? He literally just laid my fucking guy out. How is, how is mine not a pen? All right. I'll this is it. This is it. Oh, fucking cunt. Alaba played well, 7.9. Three shots on top. I'm not gonna fucking cut it, bro. Informant Signe. I think that's team of the group stage Hulk, if I'm not mistaken. He's got Mises Kitsa as well. Fucking hell. Boys, we need to step this shit up. Let's go. Alright, that's it. We're oh my god, we're gonna Oh my fucking god! Ref, that's a pen! Do I even have one shot? I have zero shots. Um, Alaba might have just saved the game for us right there. <sighs> Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? One, one. What a little cunt. Come on, boys, let's do this. Ribs to Chalonlu. Fucking body fate. I haven't done the body fate in quite some time to set up for a goal. That just worked out perfectly. Let's go. Yes! 2-1! Fucking go! 
Alaba comes to the rescue and he punches that son of a bitch in the face. Let's go. 84th minute. I'm expecting a rage quit. What a send. And his center back just doesn't do anything. And then Alaba comes up right in the middle, stays forward like we wanted him to with the instruction set, and puts away possibly the game-winning goal. Remember earlier in the game when you watched all the replays? Remember that shit? Alaba, 8.6 man of the match. Of course, he got the game-winning goal. Let's see how many chances. I think we had like two chances on net. Four shots on target. 2-1. I'll take it. Match number three, Los Gates. All right, boys, here we go. Match number three coming up against the league in Syria hybrid. He's got a pretty solid look inside. Jervinho and Lucas should be nightmares to try and contain on the sides. But hopefully, we're going to be able to blast this fucking guy out of the world. That would have been a fucking rip, boys. What the fuck? How did his keeper save that? Cheap job! Finally! Jesus Christ, 1-0. I don't know what I need to do to score. Come on, boys. Let's go. 43rd minute. We're winning this match 2-0, 3-0, guaranteed. Nine shots, seven on target, 58% possession. We are dominating. His name is David Dalla, but he one of the best. If you want a player that doesn't oh cause your brain any stress, then pick him up. Scream! K, what a scream for fuck. But if you got a that was about, I don't know, 30, 5, 40 yards pain. outside, and he I loves think. A little pastry. When he shares a pastry with Sway, what a him fucking pastry. rip! Holy shit! He fucking pops it right past the keeper. That's possibly the game sealer right there, given how the momentum of the, uh, the game is going right now. And a beautiful send. Riblet. The riblet! Oh, shit. So one of the benefits of playing Alaba at midfield is that you get both the defensive benefits and also the offensive benefits of his card. So you get just like a really sweet overall card. If he ever got a midfield card, he'd be insane. And this is probably the closest thing that you could get to it. Nobody likes you because you Yo, are Yo, the squad the is turning up right now. 3 dill. Get the fuck in. All right, so we've got a pretty good lead. 70th minute. We're going to switch Alaba straight to striker. Wait, I didn't mean to press that. No. Ref. That's, yeah, that's got to be a red. Bring out the red card, bro. Yeah, see ya. That's all Alaba right there. Oh, and he's rage quitting. What a little cunt horse. Rage quit. So there you have it. Alaba got himself a 9.4 rating, had a goal, had an assist, second man of the match award, came up, got us the game-winning goal in match number two, and was the crucial component in match number three. 15 shots, 12 on target, 59% possession, absolute domination. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that episode. Maybe let me know in the comment section below what team of the group stage player you guys would like to see me play with next. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel recently. You guys are the absolute best mean that from the bottom of my heart and uh yeah t-shirts will be coming soon i promise you that we'll be updating on twitter but anyway boys hopefully you have a great rest of the day till next time choose later ade Pow. Oh, no!